Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's workout is gonna be 20 minutes long and we're gonna focus on our strength. Uh, for this workout, you're gonna need a kettlebell for the buy-in, where we're gonna do kettlebell swings. And you're gonna need also a pair of dumbbells. Challenge yourself with a little bit heavier. Here I have uh, 10 pounds or 4.5 kilo dumbbells. You're also gonna need water if you want to take a sip between your breaks exercise mat and a timer. So the timer will be set on 15 seconds of your rest and 45 seconds of your work. And we're gonna go through the round four times and this will take us uh, up to 20 minutes. And of course, we're gonna do the buy out with another set of kettlebell swings. All right, so now if you're ready, do a short warm up and let's do this together. All right, so I hope you are nicely warmed up and now we're gonna start with the kettlebell swing. So grab your kettlebell. I have here 12 kilos or probably 26 pounds, right? So uh, also make sure that your legs are nicely screwed to the ground. Your abs are tight, shoulders back and down. And now bend in your hips, knees are slightly bent as well. Keep engaging everything, grab the kettlebell in front and we're gonna go for 30 kettlebell swings. Okay, abs tight and let's go. Squeeze your boot on the way, booty on the way up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that was 30. Okay, you can put the kettlebell away for 20 minutes now and we're going to start with our first exercise which is a man maker. I'll explain to you in the 15 seconds of the countdown. So we're going to go into the plank. Okay, let's press start. Okay, so we're going to go into the plank so we're gonna go row and another arm doing row step jumping forward and we're gonna do the shoulder press okay ready let's go up side row press your elbows up jump back straight and shoulder press going down the straight back as well Go slow and controlled. Up. Dig your toes to the mat. Try not to sway with your hips left and right. And just stay here. Okay, good job. Next one, we're gonna use one Dumbbell, and we're gonna go into clamps. Okay, so we're here. Extend your legs. Do the knee crunch and extend your arms and legs. Really press your lower back to the mat. Engage your core. Breathe. Okay. Good job. 
So next one is overhead. Uh, pull over with your weights into the squat. So abs engaged, a deep squat. And now squeeze your abs, pull the weights above your head. You definitely feel in your core, up, going down, slow and controlled. Your arms are extended at all times and this will make this exercise very challenging. Make sure that your feet are facing forward as well and rest. Okay, windshield wipers are next one. So you're gonna place your dumbbells to the side as your like leaning support. Lift your legs and you're gonna move legs left and right. Try to pull them up as straight as possible. engaged. Just hold tight on your dumbbells. This will work your obliques. The slower you go, the more control you're gonna have. Or your abs will work. Oh! Good one. Next one, we have plank hold. We're gonna go this time from our hands, just go into the um, elevated plank, pressing heels backwards, legs engaged, booty tucked under, abs engaged, arms strictly below your shoulders, elbows. Uh, Elbow pits are facing forward as well. Also your knuckles on your fingers firmly pressed to the ground, especially the index fingers, to stabilize your wrist. Protract your shoulders. Don't sag down, abs tight. Come on. Everything is tense, so you get the plank to your next level. Okay. Round one is down. Let's go into our man maker. So the whole body is working here. Let's go. So shoulder, back rows. Good. Jumping forward, flat back. Engage your core. Press up. Down. ground with your legs and arms. Keep everything engaged. Uh, 
let's go into the overhead squat press overhead press and squat <laughs> okay weights down back is straight and we go up we're not rushing as you can see this is very controlled workout with no cardio just strength focus on our abs upper body as well full body one more okay windshield wipers our next one okay placing the weights alongside you lift the legs up abs in each and we hope drop it to the side the other one you can also have bent knees like this if it's too hard for you try challenge yourself really important thing is you have to keep your abs engaged squeeze it pull your legs up with the power of your abs if you're not going to engage them it's not going to be good for your back and you're doing half work okay so you really have to think when you're training you really have to make this mind and muscle connection at all times so that you gonna get the benefits faster okay let's go to the side plank side plank hold so again your shoulder is away from your ears your shoulder and hand in one alignment hips pulled up you can also stack your feet if this is easier or better for you for me it's not that i have to practice the balance so i'm just keeping my upper leg above the lower one both legs are extended and you're engaging your core muscles if you have any issues with the wrists go on your elbows also you can look down if you have trouble in your neck area breathe two one awesome job oh let's go into the third round take a sip of water if you need to good let's go for our man makers Dig your toes to the ground one straight line elbows go up and back jump forward back straight and side raise up your hands and arms extremely hard can take a sip of water 
drink it with a straw. It's very, very good for you. Okay, let's go. Squat overhead press. Show you from the side this time. Back straight going down. Pull it up. Knees are also pointed outside. Don't buckle your knees. Ground your waist down. Up. chest as well. Hold. We have 30 seconds to go. You can also stag it if you want to. It keeps, I mean, it requires a little bit more balance. Which I'm lacking at the moment. You'll feel it here in this area. The obliques. One and drop it down. It's good. Fourth and final round. Man makers. Let's go back into the plank position. Ground your feet, ground your weights. Make sure that your back is straight. Good job. Clamps. if you need to.
overhead press squats. Let's go. Down. Make sure that your breathing is good. Inhale, hold the breath, outside. Have final plank, which will be arms extended forward plank. So it's gonna be a little bit out of the usual alignment. Let's go. So reaching forward, pressing the hips down. Good. Now. Center. We're going to do 15 seconds different movements. Breathe. Two, one. Now lean forward. So your shoulders are now in front of your palms. Abs engaged. Three, two, one. And we did it. So now you actually see different variations of the plank. So you can also check which one works better for you. Uh, I think shoulders over the wrists really intensify your core. But just do what works for you best. Even if you don't feel comfortable on your hands, you can always go on your elbows, listen to your body and, and Make sure that you do the proper form at all times. Speed is not important here, all right? Okay, so now let's finish this workout with another set of kettlebell swings. 30 again. Okay, place the kettlebell in front of you. Your feet firmly on the ground. Engage your core. Shoulders back and down, and hinge from your hips, slightly bend your knees, grab your kettlebell, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
and we're gonna do a little bit of the cool down and stretching together. It's really important that you do these stretches after single workout you do. It will really, really help you a lot. Okay, so we will start in the seated position. You can get rid of your shoes if you want to. Uh, basically, I'll do that. I'll give you time. Just get rid of your shoes. The stretches are always, um, they always feel better when you basically um, do them without the sport shoes. Okay. We're just gonna sit nice and tall. Start rolling your shoulders a little bit backwards. A little bit forward. Just to pull down a little bit. Now we're gonna inhale, arms up. And we're gonna exhale, leaning to one side. Your sitting bones are on the ground, upper arm is extended, breathe, bend your elbow, inhale, exhale, oh you're gonna feel nice stretch, inhale up, exhale to the side, and again inhale up, and again going down, again up, Extend your arm and going back to the center. So inhale, we're gonna repeat this on the other side. Walk, walk, walk. Elongate your body, you're gonna feel nice stretch on the side of your body. And again, inhale, exhale, twist. And again, inhale, open up. Exhale, twist. One more time, inhale, open up. Exhale, twist, open, extend, go back to the center, inhale, now you're reaching forward, exhale, going forward with your hands as much as you can. Okay. Inhale, forward, Since we are here, we're gonna do a nice twist. So inhale, elongate your spine, opposite arm goes to the opposite knee. Twist, extend your body, breathe. It's just a general cool down and stretching. And again, inhale, center, the other side, exhale. It feels really good actually you observe your body how it responds to those stretches and it's always better to do the guided stretches that then if you would do them on your own and again now we're gonna go into the forward fall so feet facing together and also we're gonna start bending from our hips never from the spine from the upper back so inhale exhaling reaching forward you can um, touch your legs wherever you want calf muscles ankles or your feet or even further you can even put the yoga block here and just go even further so elongate your back again inhale exhale going deeper down feel nice hamstring stretch now inhale and we're gonna go into the tabletop. So exhale, lift yourself up. Make sure that you're pressing with your shoulders up, with your hands up. And again, going down, forward fold. So inhale, exhale. The same movement. So now we're gonna add up face. So inhale, now, your fingers are facing away from you, away from your butt. Exhale, going up on one arm, reaching up and over your body. 
So we're gonna stretch our thoracic spine. Going down, inhale, forward, fold. Inhale, grab your leg, exhale, extend it. So pull your leg towards you, back is straight. Now inhale, we're going to do thoracic bridge on the other side. So inhale, exhale, coming up and over. Lifting the hips up, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, going back down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the other leg up. Exhale, stretch. Elongate your spine. Good, and going back down. So now we're gonna do the inner thighs. So feet together, adjust your hips. So inhale. Exhale, leaning forward. Good job. Just relax. And again, legs a little bit further. Inhale, exhale. Now you're going to feel the outside of your legs and the glutes. Super nice stretch, breathe, inhale and exhale, you can go even deeper and deeper down, okay. now we're going to go into plank, from plank go into down dog, you can always bend your knees here deep Deepen your chest and then extend your legs. And then going forward, one knee in, and we're gonna go into the pigeon stretch. So inhale, exhale, going down to your forearms, and then slowly lower down your head. Relax, stretch the glutes, relax everything. yourself back up, going into the down dog, now we're going to go through the chaturanga, so coming up, lean a little bit forward, lower yourself down, inhale up, relax your belly, roll your toes into down dog, the other side, knee in, hold it, Lower yourself down and let's go into the pigeon stretch. Inhale, exhale on your forearms. Breathe all the way down. Relax. Try to relax your body. Try not to tense. You will definitely feel a little bit of tension in your legs and your glutes and try to mentally relax it. Okay? Ease the breathing. Ease the position of your body and the pose. Okay, again, into the down dog. And forward, chaturanga. Down dog, and now we're just gonna do a little bit of our spinal twist. So inhale again towards your chest, open and twist. Breathe. Down. Inhale, 
the other knee goes towards you and exhale to the other side. Try to put your knee as close as to the ground as possible. Make sure that your um, shoulders are on the ground. Good. And now just grab the knees and do a little bit of the circle. Left and right. A little bit of the lower back massage. And just lower your legs down. Find nice position and relax for another five minutes. And then when you're done, you can slowly come back up and enjoy your day. So this was a nice uh, strength uh, workout with a nice cool down at the end. Uh, so we focus basically on entire body, but a little bit more on our core. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell button because if you don't click the bell button, you will not get notified about my uploads. And uh, yeah, keep on training with me and i see you soon with another workout. Till then, have fun. Ciao, ciao.